said the entertainer, and you are watching Jay Ross TV. Jay Ross, this is what it's show up for. Young World here, music director, to your favorite artist, and I love Jay Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This boy Jay Ross <laughs> hanging out with my cat, Young. Yes, sir. Young World for the last couple of days, y'all here in yes, St. Louis. <laughs> He the MD for a new edition. Right now, if you can see a little bit, uh, it's a little far off, but Babyface uh, on stage yeah. right now. But that young man, uh, like t get it, uh, a little young cats, man, that's coming up with some inspiration on on uh, what you had to do to prepare yourself for a situation like this, dude. Well, first of all, I, again, I said it earlier, just shout out to my man, Jay Ross TV, my man, James. Um, just doing what I've done over these years, it's important to connect with a guy like James, man. He took me so far to get a haircut, just show so much love. And, you know, this is what this whole thing is about. It's about relationships. It's about, you know, growing. Um, a lot of the young guys, man, I just feel like, if I could speak honestly, I feel like you guys need to assert yourselves and, 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 and just the, the passion of, of really wanting to do this thing professionally. Like, when I first started, it wasn't a whole lot of um, social media. It was really none. You had to go out and see shows and things of that nature. And I still have that respect for that. I feel like if I'm not on stage at that time with an artist, if I played at the church and I wasn't on a Mary J. Blige or a J. Lo stage, I feel like there was a reason for that. And I feel like with you, know, you young guys, there's a lot of privilege that you feel like you may have because your Facebook friends with someone or your Twitter friends with someone. I just want to encourage you guys to let you know that social media is cool, but you're only going to go as far as you're willing to go. So therefore, you know, if, if a young world comes to town or Adam Blackstone or Rob Lewis, any of these guys that you've heard are musicians, music directors, Calvin Rogers, Gerald Hayward, you know, even if you have to pay for a ticket just to get that experience, just to eat, just to feed your soul, man. I mean, I remember buying an $85 ticket, I think, to the Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera tour, um, the strip tour, their co-headlining. And I was just a keyboard player playing in church, went by myself on my birthday, and I remember watching Rob Lewis, who was the music director with Christina Aguilera. I remember watching Kevin Antunes, who was the music director with Justin Timberlake. And yeah. I wasn't trying to look for a hookup or nothing. I went, and it was just encouraging and, and, and insp inspiring for me to see that and know that I want to be that, or I can do that, I can rock out like that. So. I, I did the same thing for Janet Jackson, paid almost $100 for a ticket, Rex Silas was the music director, it was an amazing show. So what I'm saying is, when, when, when certain guys come to town, don't always feel like, well I sent this guy a message on Facebook or Instagram, he didn't reply, yeah. I was looking for a comp ticket or whatever, no, 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 no. It's like, when these guys come to town, whether you can reach out and touch them or not, you know, you want to make sure that for the most part, you are putting yourself in a position where you can eat. You're putting yourself in a you, you, you're putting yourself in a position where you can eat, where you can my boy Rob, my boy Rob here working with us on the new edition tour. Yeah, but you just you just, you just want to make sure that you're putting yourself in a position to understand what it takes to work at this level. If you're trying to do it consistently, a lot of if you're trying to get into it for the wrong reasons and you're yeah. trying to do it just to be popular or say I play bass for somebody or guitar, then that's not this isn't the life. But if you really want to be able to do it consistent day in and day out, then you're only gonna get more into it in terms of what you put out of it. So what I'm saying is it's cool to reach out to certain guys on Facebook or Twitter, Instagram or whatever, but just make sure that when certain guys come to town, stop what you're doing, put your money together, if y'all gotta split the ticket, whatever, and just come out and see it because you could walk away from something that's just life changing, which is really what you need to unlock the keys to be able to do it on this level. For sure. Yeah, so besides the music, Young, what about attitude, man? Yeah, no doubt, James. Um, the attitude is definitely important. Like a lot of you young cats that's got chops, that really doesn't matter on this level. I mean, of course you have to assert yourself in all that you do and have your musical vocabulary together, but it's really, 90% attitude in the way you conduct your business, 10% plan. Because I put it like this, if there's a guy with super chops on drums, bass, keys, whatever, and you know, he's an amazing player, but the worst attitude, he's late, he does what he wanna do, he's hard to work with, <laughs> but there's a guy that's at home, you know, pocket player, may not be as flashy, but he gets the job done, that's who's gonna get the job, because at the end of the day, unless you're trying to be a soloist and have your own trio or your own quartet band or whatever you do, it's these artist names that's on the market. Yeah. It's a Babyface, it's a Usher, it's a Chris Brown, it's a New Edition, it's a Diddy. I've worked with all of these artists, so it's their name, it's their ticket, it's not your show. It's not about you, so 
remain humble and thank God for the opportunities you have. But yeah, as far as attitude, you're not working consistently out here on any level. You might get an opportunity here and there if you know somebody who knows somebody, but you're not gonna be able to be first call for these major gigs day in and day out without the wrong attitude because if you're hard to work with, nobody's gonna wanna work with you. Nobody's gonna wanna pay you, any of that. You know? <laughs> You'll be at home. <laughs> hey, I know it's getting close to you at the road, but yes, talk sir. about talk about money, man, and how to save that money, baby. So when you turn 50, you you ain't working at McDonald's. Yeah. yeah so um, talk about that money thing, dog. So the money for for you young guys, and even you guys that may be in this thing and haven't realized, but you know, working with a lot of these artists, when you get hired, even if they give you a lot of money. It's one thing if they give you a little bit of money, but even if they give you a lot of money, there's still usually no benefits that come with that. When I say benefits, I mean health, dental, no type of insurance. So a lot of these guys will go their whole career, 15, 20 years touring, with no type of coverage and no type of plan. So if you're, if, if, if thousands of dollars is coming in and out of your pockets from producing, from playing, and you have no plan, then it's very likely that when you get to a certain age, you're just looking back over your life and you've lost or spent, you know, made money, spent money, easy come, easy go, and now you're looking back like, okay, I have nothing to show for that, where the average guy working at Chevy, Ford, wherever, he's saving up a pension. There's money that comes out of his salary, a set aside, we don't we don't have that in the arts, whether you're, you know, music, music director, dancer, whatever, we don't have any of that. So what I started doing, I was telling James, uh, when I first got hired to do TLC, I had to open up a business, which is very scary, because I feel like, oh my God, it's a business account, and you know, they weren't gonna pay me as an individual. But man, that's the best way you can go, open your business account and work as a business so that you can really get paid because people definitely don't mind paying a business or a corporation versus giving James Ross a million dollars. Yeah. James Ross TV, they'll give that a million dollars because it, you know, just the appeal of the corporation. But the bottom line is, what I have going on is I have an accountant that I trust that takes 20% or whatever you think. We started with 10 and then I wanted to do more just to plan for the future. But you wanna have a vehicle, so if you're on a gig making X amount of dollars a week, you wanna make sure that you're setting aside something towards whether if it's investments or 401k, some type of savings, so that if you have a 15 year run and then nobody's calling you for any more gigs, at least you can look back over your life and say this is what I saved over 15 years and now this is what I have to fall back on. If you're not writing or if you don't have any royalties and things like that. So. All right, yeah. y'all. All right, y'all. That's my boy, Young World. He got to go put on his monkey yeah. suit. He emd <laughs> <laughs> He got he got to put on his suit and his his uh, shiny black hat for the night. Yes, sir. And uh, time getting short, y'all. So we gonna let him roll. This your boy, Jay Ross, yeah. with my dog, Young World, music director for New Edition. To this time, he be yeah. with everybody. Yeah. And we gonna holler at him later, y'all. Jay Ross TV, Tim Megan Strong. We gone. Yes, Peace. Sir. Peace.